Carl Icahn, everybody's favorite billionaire corporate raider, uh, gave himself some Christmas presents. Hey, he's an activist investor. Oh, I'm sorry, not whatever. Corporate yeah, corporate raider. Raider. I so love 1980s, barbarians at the gate. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's that's the greatest. I actually reread that because it was on my reading list. Anyway, um, okay, so uh, what? He's basically kicking out founders left and right of these these energy companies. Well, I guess the people that he gets put on boards are kicking. Well, yeah. his mercenaries. Are, He's doing it by proxy. That's right, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, these guys aren't necessarily leaving empty-handed. Um, Jim Bob Moffat, sixteen million dollar payout with a million and a half. And he's year from Freeport Mac Moran. Yes, um, co-founded with two other guys, Mac Moran Oil and Gas. I guess they merged with Freeport Minerals. And okay, then who, and then here we are. And then they s- split, or then they re then they remerged a couple yeah, years ago. Yeah, you know, it's. One of those and great now things. Now they're not where you see the- Now they're not investing in oil and gas anymore for the foreseeable future. Um, so the company's been through more flux than pretty much any company I can think of in the energy space. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I can. I, you might want to put Chenier Energy on there. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's true. You go from an oil and gas producer line. to a natural gas importer yeah. to a natural gas well, exporter an, an in a matter of years. Attempted importer and an it's basically attempted all three and hasn't done any yet. Really. Like, I don't think he imported <laughs> any yeah. natural gas. They, they do. They, they have a couple contracts that have. Helped like put a little cash okay. on the books to like fund the exports, yeah. but yeah, it's it's been a, a terminal that never really like right. met its capacity. They never like they never found anything when they drilled. Yeah, and they're still yet to export. But that being said, I'm a shareholder, so um, maybe I'm kind of glad that they're gonna just kind of take the cash and, and maybe sit on that for a little while, rather than what he's hoping to was hoping to do was double their amount of trains that they have by 2025 they have 7 coming online now and he wanted 14 by 2025 so a bit ambitious um and and obviously the board <laughs> felt that way as well yeah i mean at the time with what Chenier Energy's existing plans if we talk about their Sabine Pass and their Corpus Christi terminals um the amount that they would process at that is equivalent to about 10% of US natural gas production so they were looking to move a lot of stuff yes. and bumping up to 14 would have been a huge huge move that you know in could just like another 10 more years like yeah it's that short- that's that's a big change to yeah. the natural gas market that may not necessarily the market would be yeah. ready for and last but not least pep boys anybody want to buy a uh, auto parts chain or anything <sighs> <laughs> Long term, I mean, sure, it might do well, like with all these trucks that are going to come on, right? And no maybe kidding. break down break on the side down. of the road. But when you have cars like Tesla, probably the wave of the future with no fluids, no engines, like, right? What is Pep Boys going to fix and sell? Like, I don't get it. Um, yeah, I mean, and- Teslas aren't aren't breaking down. If they're breaking down, they're burning to the ground, right? Which you're just happened twelve to times. Pep, you're not gonna go to Pep Boys <laughs> to fix that. You're going to go to Tesla and be like, give me another damn car. Whereas I don't know, like that's obviously just, a very long. He talked term a thought, lot about but, like the huge opportunity to expand. So I don't know if he's going to open a couple hundred more Pep Boys everywhere. I, I don't. I have no I, idea. Just kind of looking broadly at the the three big, we'll call them the the three Christmas presents of Carl Icahn between Pep Boys uh, getting I want my scalps, Chenier <laughs> Energy's CEO and Freeport's CEO. You know, going into Freeport and, and Chenier, it's like oh, we can cut costs, we can. It do all these things to right. get value yeah. out of these stocks, and the same thing. He's like, "Oh, there's immense value in Pep Boys," but you know, looking at these commodity companies, it's hard to see like uh, how much more cost cutting can go on than what's going on, unless you're looking at rapid divestitures to just basically yeah. slice the company down. And Which could happen at Freeport. We could with Chenier. I think it was just pull back on the throttle. Mm-hmm. Right, Freeport. You could definitely see. Some. Yeah, and it's just sometimes it's it's hard to see necessarily what exactly the thought process is when it comes to some of these things. I don't want to say that he's wrong in any way because I don't know. I mean, he's made a lot of money, yeah. way more than I ever will. So listen, I, he's really rich. He's really rich. <laughs> <laughs> um, I. But at the same time, I just look at these moves, and you know, Pep Boys, same thing. It's like you, you look at comps. It struggles to make money right now. It, it like struggles, struggles to make money, and even when you can do comps to other service companies, it, it's not a high margin business in any way whatsoever, and or the returns on capital aren't even that great, right? Compared to maybe somebody like an advanced auto parts or an auto zone, you know, where you're just selling parts, you know, the the returns on that are much much higher, and. So, 
I I just don't see it personally. There may Pet be Boys something is going to be huge. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, Trump. There's there's uh there maybe something. I mean, there was like a bidding war for it. Yeah, I mean, they it rebuffed yeah. him once. Then another company came in and like made it made an offer, and then he matched it. And, and then and yeah, now, now it's his. He's going to leverage it up. That's we'll how he's doing money. Happens. Maybe because he's a corporate raider. <laughs>